right guys, man one up here today and I'm going to be doing a guide on how to rank up quickly in Black Ops 2. Um, I'm going to split this video into three sections and everything will be in the description so you can skip to where you want to go, what you think might help you most. So I'm going to show you my custom class setup first of all and I'm going to show you what I've got on, why I've got it on and how all that will change as I level up. Next thing I'm going to do is show you some examples of good uh, gameplay which should help you analyse situations better when you're in game and last but not least I'm going to show you a full gameplay or most of a gameplay so that you can see how I run in this game and see what decisions I make because a lot of people learn more by watching a gameplay so that will be in the description if you want to skip ahead so guys in essence what we are going to do is we're going to be playing hard point and we're going to be doing as many of the challenges as possible to get as extra XP so with that in mind, there are lots of challenges that are not unlocked until your prestige level 1, such as perk challenges and attachment challenges for guns, but you can still work on gun challenges and before you get to prestige 1. So we will go to my custom class and you will see I've got three of them here and the only thing that changes is the greed perk between 1, 2 and 3. So we'll take the first one right now. I'm using the MTAR with Reflex Sight and Quick Draw and I'll explain why I'm using this right now. So I have chose to do the MTAR which is the Assault Rifle and if we go to Barracks and Challenges and Assault Rifle I'm doing the MTAR simply because it's the first gun and I'm going to work my way along the list. So under the MTAR Challenges we've got all these different attachments and we have camos so you need to keep this in mind. I'm going to get all these camos right here which goes up to 100 headshots and you can see I get 3,500 XP for that one and 5,000 for that one and then I'll find out what challenges I need to do to unlock these so I am doing it one gun at a time and I think that's kind of the best method plus you'll be able to find out what gun suits you so that when you're finished you'll be able to decide on the perfect class for yourself you might know I have the reflex sight on that under the challenges optic they have a full column just for reflex sight and you'll notice I've unlocked some of these already to unlock my next one I need to get 300 kills aiming down the sight with reflex sight which is not hard you're going to get that playing the game anyway and after I get 300 it's 400 then 500 then it goes on to different challenges so you know that's 5000 XP that's 2.5 and that's 2000 so that is the reason under my custom class 1 that is why I'm using reflex sight and once I'm finished with reflex sight I'll just move on to the ACOG and then the target finder and so on because under the challenges under the optics there was all these different sites and you can see these are also just getting kills aiming down the sites and you will get these just playing the game so these are really good ones to go for and the sites in the game are actually really good so the next thing I was using if you go back to my creator class was quick draw and the reason I'm using quick draw is because it is pretty much the first in the list I'm using reflex and quick draw and I'll move along my list and if we go to the challenges it's under barracks challenges and it is under prestige and it is specialised, no it's not specialised optics, it's combat efficiency and we're over here. For quick draw handle we need to get 300 kills aiming down the sights which is the exact same as the reflex and once I finish with my quick draw, once I've maxed that out and got the XP for that, I'll move on to any of the other ones and I'll just take my pick and work through them and get even more challenges so that is attachments that is why I've got those attachments on so if we go to my perks uh, you'll see I'm using uh, greed for perk 1, greed for perk 2 and greed for perk 3 I'll quickly go over that right now the reason I'm doing that is because under the prestige challenges at the very end we've got wild card we've got perk 1 greed the challenge for that is simply getting 500 kills with a class that is 2 perks from perk 1 and you get XP for that. Once I have completed that perk 1 grade, I will move on to that other class I had using perk 2 grade, which is also just getting kills, and then perk 3 grade. Once I've completed these three, I will move on to the likes of primary gunfighter, overkill, you know, and do all those challenges because they're very simple and it's easy XP that you would uh, get anyway, just playing the game getting kills. So that's why I've got that. If we go to the perks themselves, the ones that you'll see that stay the same through them all is lightweight, toughness and tactical mask. 
you can actually use ex um, extreme conditioning, that's better. But I personally prefer tactical mask. And we'll go into the challenges for them. What are those challenges? So we will go to prestige once more, and then we'll go to perks. You'll know I've already got dexterity, so we'll move on to tactical mask, and then extreme conditioning and so forth. You, the order, you can choose what order you want to do them in. Extreme conditioning would be easier because it's killing enemies after sprinting which is a lot easier than killing enemies you stun or concuss or shock charge but I like tactical mask more the other perks I had on was lightweight that's simply getting kills using lightweight that is so simple and once I finish that I'll use hardline I'll get onto my score streaks in a minute but hardline is also very easy to get as you can see um, under perk 2 um, sorry if I'm losing you here. Under pack 2 we've got toughness and cold blooded and the reason I'm using those if we go back to the perks the reason I'm using toughness is that's getting kills after taking damage which happens for me in about 99% of my gunfights so that will be an easy one to get and for the perk I'm adding on with greed I had a decision between cold blood or fast hands so this is where it comes down to per personal preference Fast Hands wants you to get kills within a few seconds of swapping guns. I don't swap guns so I would, I would need to physically go out my way to try and do that. Or Cold Blood is getting kills, just simply getting kills. So that's why I've chose Cold Blood. And if we go to perk 3, most people would do it the other way around. They would do Extreme Conditioning because it's getting kills after sprinting which is really easy. But I'm choosing Tactical Mask because I like Tactical Mask. So you can see there's a whole array of challenges you can do and once you're finished with one perk you move on to the next once you finish with one wild card you move on to the next and once you finish with one gun you move on to the next and so on and so forth So now that that is in place guys it's re it sounds really simple and I'm not really telling you anything you didn't know but there's just a vast amount of challenges out there that you should be completing and I would say about 80 to 90 percent of these challenges you could get when you're playing anyway. So you may as well have a particular setup so that if it's just getting kills, then you're getting all these challenges without going out your way to get them. The main thing about this is getting all the XP from the challenges as well as keeping a high score per minute. So if I go into my barracks right now, just I, uh, you know, I've I've played the game quite a bit, but that's because I enjoyed. I didn't hammer the challenges at all enjoying my first prestige or my non prestige and I've got a score per minute which is rising I've only just started doing these challenges and it works really well and my score per minute is going to rocket very very quickly it's going to go well beyond 400 and I'm going to try and hope that 450 500 so next I'm going to move over and to the computer for myself and I'm going to explain a few scenarios within hardpoint of what I've done and why I've done them and then we'll go on to the gameplay. So now we're on to the clip I want to show you guys. This is me um, about to die. I wanted to show you just before I died on till the clip itself. So in this one when I die I respawn and get a blackbird really quickly and it's my thought process of what I'm going to do about the next hard point that I wanted to address to you. Um, it might be a different way of thinking for a lot of you and I know for the most part people uh, get on the uh, hard point and then hide in a corner and try and get the kills but that's not the way to do it guys you want to regain it you want to lose it and gain it and lose it and gain it and you want to keep getting those secures so I'll talk about it in more detail once I get onto the gameplay but when I cap this I run away to let this guy cap it and then I kill him and then retake it and then I seen the other guy on radar and I do the exact same thing to him so I wanted to show you that guys because I do this constantly and that is just one of many examples I've got of doing that. So if you want to see a full gameplay I'm going to show that now and I'm going to talk about other things I've yet to mention. Alright so I'll see you then. Welcome back guys. Uh, I know you haven't went anywhere but I have and I've put together for you um, highlights of a gameplay. It's, the, it's most of it. I had a really good game this time and I wanted to show you as an actual gameplay of me playing Hardpoint earlier. Um, I have many of these, but uh, this is kind of going to give you the general idea if you're uh, if you're the sort of person that prefers to watch someone play, and you can see what they're doing. So you are going to be playing Hardpoint, and in this game, I am playing solo. Um, it is far far easier to play with teammates 
so that you're no, you, you know exactly what to do because there's several instances that you know I'm trying to cap the hard point and then leave it for the enemy to cap it so that I can take it back because you get more points that way you get more points for playing the objectives than you do for kills so there's a few times where my teammates are sitting in the hard point like I would say 98% of people do they sit in the hard point and try and get you know the the kills which will get you 125 points which is 25 more than a normal kill and um, I prefer to get the caps um, or the secures rather which are 200 points so the way I'm playing it is I'm playing this very solo and um, you need to learn the maps first and foremost guys you have to learn the maps and you need to learn where it's going to go next and from this map, as this was the very first map I played Hardpoint on, this wasn't the first game I'm showing you, but I'd learned, or kind of noticed rather, that I feel the Hardpoint goes round in a circle. And I'm pretty sure every map I've played, it works its way, it starts in the middle, and then works its way round to different locations in a circle, and then it repeats that cycle once it gets to the end. So it comes in very handy knowing where the next Hardpoint's going to be, and I've already learned the majority of the maps. Um, right underneath your radar on the top left you can see wh how long's left of the hard point so always keep that in mind you know uh, some instances you're best just giving the other team uh, the point and you move on to the next location because if you uh, I've noticed as well if you kill them on the hard point they'll spawn to the next location and then the hard point happens to be there as well so they get an, the easy few points so with this um, we're playing hard point and the reason we're doing this, yeah, I've not really told you why we're doing this, you can tell it gets you lots of score doing this. Um, you're so much better playing this than you are playing for the likes of Kill Confirmed and Domination. You know, I was always a Domination player on the other CODs, but it's kind of the same concept in a way. When you played Domination, you would secure, oh, I would secure the two flags. And then I would always go for the flag I didn't have. I would always be so objective. I would go for the flag I didn't have, such as C, and then they would take my A, and then we would always walk around. So it's kind of like domination, this to me, where it's only one point, and it works really, really well. You can just see I'm actually getting really unlucky this game. I get so close to the blackbird several times, but I don't really care. And I've totally went off on a tangent, but yes, score streaks. You want to use support, I call them support ones, such as the UAV, the counter UAV, the Blackbird. I know it's not called the Blackbird anymore, but it's the same thing. And that's pretty much the ones you want to use. You get so many points, such as UAV assists. Um, when you have a UAV and someone gets a kill, you get points for that. And they rack up a lot, believe you me guys, they really rack up. Uh, rack up a lot as well as help yourself get loads more kills you know where they are on the map um, I am using a lightning strike in this game that's because I don't have the counter UAV unlocked yet I believe it's rank 33 so I'll be using that once I get to rank 33 and you might wonder how I've got the blackbird well once I prestige for you that don't know you get to keep something permanently and I chose to keep the blackbird I know it's a really high kill streak and we're playing really really aggressive here and you might not always get it but I believe that maybe 8 out of 10 matches I'll get a blackbird and I think it helps the team so much so that's why I use it. I'm really a support player, I'm a really aggressive support player even though they're not classified as support and assault in that anymore. So you can see that lightning strike is going ham right now, that's another one if you want to use on maps such as this. I find it really useful but bear in mind there's all these challenges so I finished the lightning strike challenges so I'm really eager to get the counter UAV done. So guys, there's nothing really much more to say. Um, I think the video speaks for itself. You're working on all the different challenges you get and you unlock more of them once you prestige. Um, there's the guns themselves, there's the headshots for the camo, um, there's all the different attachments for the guns, there are all the different perks and then all the different wild cards. And the other small thing I didn't mention, which is kind of obvious, but if you ever finish with the primary guns, you can always go and do the secondary. You can always max them out as well, and there's always challenges for them. And you can mess about with score streaks. So I know this video is getting quite long, and I've talked a lot, but I feel as if I wanted to cover everything. And that's a prime example right now of me not concentrating in the game. I went to the wrong point, and I had to look at my minimap to see where it was. 
Um, I feel the hard point is a great addition to the game and it will really help me rank up. I know you might be thinking that um, I'm a very low rank, the game's been out for a wee while now and how am I only like first prestige, there's already legit 9th prestige 6 and 7s and stuff like that and I am 100% sure this is exactly what they're doing as well and um, I've even checked out a few of their channels and stuff and their recent games and this is how they're playing the game as well so it's, I've, it's not as if I'm copying what they're doing, you know, this isn't one person's idea um, I've been doing this as Modern Warfare 3, just completing the challenges to rank up and I'm really happy it's back in Black Ops 2 so I really hope you find this video useful guys, if you could please like it, if you could um, share it with your friends and if you find that, that you're having any problems or you want any questions asked, always private message me either on YouTube or you can send a message to my gamer tag, MadmanRab, which you can see in the video. Um, I reply to, I would like to think I reply to about 99% of the messages I receive and although my background isn't Call of Duty, I know how to rank up fast in it and um, I'm just going to let this video run out now. The reason I chose this video in fact was the amount of score more I got than my team. I've got many games of examples but I got a lot of score and I'm playing solo, I'm not playing with my team. So I get a good KD which doesn't always happen and I get a good score. So guys I hope you've listened to me ramble on enough and go out and rank up fast. Bye bye.